this is my end of March, beginning of April grocery haul, and I'm going to do this haul a little bit different than I have in the past. I just don't really feel like organizing everything on the table. So I'm just going to show you what's in the bags as I pull them out and get ready to put them away. So we'll start with Aldi because that's what's right here on the front. We got some pork rinds, original, two bags of hot and spicy, a bunch of canned goods down in there. Some maple syrup, some cocktail peanuts, four cans of chicken breast, and one can of refried beans. Okay, next bag, we've got four packages of everything bagels. And looks like four dozen eggs. In this bag, we've got two bags of tortilla chips, a loaf of oat bread for Scott, four sweet potatoes, and a pineapple. In this bag, I've got two bags of grilled chicken. I'll have one bag, I'll cook one bag for my supper tonight, and then the rest will be for lunches the rest of this week. Two packs of ham slices. Some coconut whipped topping. I saw this on the, on the website and it doesn't really give you any information on the Aldi website for some reason. This is not Trim Healthy Mama Friendly. But it is low carb, low fat. My birthday's coming up and Easter's coming up, so I figured I would use that even though it does have a little bit of sugar in it. Got one half gallon of almond milk, liquid egg whites for all, uh, Trim Healthy Mama recipes, pound of butter for the guys. A bunch of thin meats for sandwiches for the guys. Some cheese slices. Some Colby Jack cheese sticks. Some string cheese. And some Colby Jack cheese for recipes. Those are all for the guys. Also, a pack of Parmesan cheese I saw when I, when I pecked, pulled this out of the bag along with the chicken. But some Parmesan cheese as well. All right, in this bag I've got some organic bananas, kind of green looking. Some little mini bell peppers. Some mini cucumbers. English cucumber. Some of these wild wonder tomatoes. Some uh, organic avocados, two mangoes, this one looks really almost ready, not quite, this one's a little bit greener, and then two bags of um, multicolored peppers. Okay, in this bag I have two Rising Crust pizzas for Travis, pepperoni Rising Crust pizzas. Some frozen strawberry and banana for, for me. I like to put this in a bowl, let it sit on the counter for about 20 minutes or so, sprinkle it with stevia, and then pour some almond milk or some of my unsweetened coffee creamer on it, and then let it set a little bit longer. And then you kind of mush the berries and the fruit up, and it almost turns into like a, not ice cream, it's too loose for that, but Kind of like a smoothie in a bowl. It's really, really good. Four pounds of ground turkey. All right, in this bag we have frozen veggies, two bags of frozen broccoli florets, two bags of frozen green beans. I love to roast these with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, garlic salt, yummy. And then two bags of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. 
So in this, this is the last bag of Aldi, and now I've got two, two loaves of the Knock Your Sprouts Off Sprouted Grain Bread, some napkins, some instant brown rice, two um, things of paper plates, and two packages of whole wheat tortillas. And then the last thing I got from Aldi is that bag of, or that package of paper towels. Now on to Kroger. I went ahead and pulled everything out of the first bag because with these plastic bags it's going to be kind of noisy and crinkly. So I'll just pull things out of each bag and show you um, instead of like I did with the Aldi part of it. Um, got some more of those little cutie halos two bags of our shredded dairy-free dairy cheddar cheese, some of our country crock um, plant butter, some dairy-free sour cream, some earth balance, other kind of dairy-free butter, and then this is for Travis and Scott, the, um, what is this? Sweet cream, sweet cream coffee creamer. All right, next couple of bags, I got some organic carrots, three heads of organic lettuce, iceberg lettuce, some popcorn, and some organic pink lady apples. All right, three loaves of honey wheat bread. This is for Travis and Olivia. Uh, two loaves of French bread. I'm going to be making for Easter breakfast, it's going to be overnight French toast, peach French toast. And um, so I'm gonna be using this French bread for that. And then I'm going to make a small single serving portion that's Trim Healthy Mama friendly for me. So that's what this French bread is all about. Some more frozen veg, uh, frozen fruit for that fruit thing I was telling you about. Um, this is the Cherry Berry Medley. Two bags of ch chicken strips. These are for our supper tonight, as well as these golden French fries. I won't be eating that, of course. And then three bags of turkey meatballs. The last time I went shopping they didn't have the plain ones and they um, substituted the Hawaiian bagels. Olivia really liked the Hawaiian bagels so this time I ordered the Hawaiian bagels. They didn't have the Hawaiian bagels so they substituted the plain. But anyway Olivia likes those as well so got her two bags of those. Travis's Mountain Dew for work. This Classico uh, spaghetti sauce does not have any added sugar, so it is Trim Healthy Mama friendly. And I got two different uh, flavors. I got roasted garlic and tomato and basil. Then I got a big five pound bag of jasmine brown rice, some low sodium soy sauce. This was an ex a uh, substitute. I don't normally get the sprouted grain. They didn't have them, so they substituted it for the whole wheat. And I don't, honestly, I don't eat that many wraps anyway. Um, so if I eat one or something, it's not gonna be that big a deal. The family eats a lot of tortillas, so I suspect Travis will probably eat the lion's share of these, which is fine. And then I got some more of this organic brown berry, 12 grains and seeds bread. Tra uh, Scott really likes this. And then I ordered that oat bread from Aldi because just in case they didn't have this. So now he's got two um, loaves of really nice bread. All right, this is the next little batch here. I got um, some more of these chow mein noodles. I got two things of Miracle Whip and I didn't realize when I ordered it that this was like a ginormous size, but that's fine because we use a lot of Miracle Whip and we were completely out. So that's why I bought two. These are the peaches for the Easter morning breakfast for the family. And I'm gonna use some of my stevia sweetened peaches for my share of it. Um, in my family, we really like prunes. <laughs> Everybody in the family likes prunes. We just like to eat them. So I thought this sounded really interesting. Orange essence. So I put some of those up. Got some more of my Nut Pods creamer. Um, it took me a while to get off of this because this is actually one of my favorites. This is for Olivia. But slowly but surely, 
I am adjusting to the nut pods and I am beginning to like it better. And I actually like the original better than the French vanilla. But I bought the French vanilla to use on those frozen, um, I call them frozen fruit bowls that I was telling you about. At the end of the video, I'll show you one because I'm going to have one for part of my lunch today. So anyway, got that for that. Got two cans of Rotel tomatoes. Already talked about Olivia's creamer, and then this is the other creamer for Scott and Travis. The M&Ms. Got two boxes of stovetop stuffing. The family absolutely loves stuffing. I like it too, but Trim Healthy Mama doesn't like me to eat it, so I don't. But it makes a really nice, easy, quick side that everybody enjoys. And then I picked some of these up for Scott for his lunch. I only got him one box this time because. I'm not eating granola bars anymore, and so we have a couple extra boxes already, but I thought he would like these chocolate pretzel nut ones. All right, this is the last of it. This is in the last two bags. Got some more of my spearmint gum, some coconut water. What flavor did I get this time? Peach mango. A big thing of coffee for the guys. Two things of Welch's 100% grape juice and some more prunes. These are just the irregular pitted prunes. Like I said, everybody in my family loves prunes. So this is that frozen fruit bowl that I was telling you about. And you can kind of see how um, it's the frozen fruit has softened, but it's kind of made the creamer get frozen. So it has almost, almost a soft serve ice cream texture but not quite and it's really tasty and it really satisfies the sweet tooth without having to resort to something that's bad for you all right friends that is my end of march beginning of april grocery haul i hope you enjoyed it i know it was a different format i almost didn't even do a haul this time but then i thought i gotta pull all this stuff out of the bags and put it away anyway so i might as well just film it i don't even have any makeup on or anything so yeah, this is what I'm gonna call my lazy grocery haul. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching, friends. The day that you'll be watching this is actually my birthday and it's Good Friday. And so I hope everyone has a wonderful and blessed Easter on Sunday. And I hope you have a great day today. Thanks so much for watching, friends. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.